Hey guys, the one dumbbell workout for this week uh, is four sets. Four sets is just kind of an arbitrary number. If uh, three seems sufficient, you can knock out three. If, if you got enough in the tank for five, go for five. Um, so anywhere from three to five sets. The, uh, the way this will work, you're gonna perform one minute of max dumbbell push presses. Obviously that's with one arm since you only have one dumbbell. Um, you'll do this entire circuit, this entire sequence with one side of the body. Let's just say you start with your right arm. So you'll do the entire circuit with one arm, with your right arm. Take a minute break and then switch. That's the way it's gonna work, all right? Um, one minute of dumbbell push presses, one minute of dumbbell front squats, one minute of dumbbell, I don't, I don't keep saying dumbbell, do I? One minute, I didn't have to write one minute of all of them either. I could have put like those little quotation marks. That would have probably sufficed. Uh, one minute of max swinging hammer curls, uh, which is basically like a hang muscle clean, a cheating bicep curl, if you will. And then a uh, one minute of max dumbbell deadlifts. Take a minute break, switch sides, repeat. And again, anywhere from three to five sets. Depending upon the weight of your, kettle, or your dumbbell, you uh, might be able to go a minute straight for each movement without stopping. So if your dumbbell is relatively light, you might be able to go from the push presses right into your front squats, right into the muscle clean or hammer curl, and then right into the deadlift. Uh, if that's the case, obviously go for it. Try to stay unbroken for all the sets. If you have a relatively heavy dumbbell, that's gonna be really, really hard, especially for four or five sets. Um, so yeah, just get as many reps as you can in those, in, in those 60 seconds of each movement. If you have to break, obviously break. Try your best to hold on as best you can. Let's go over the movements. The push press shouldn't require much of an introduction here. Uh, Start with the dumbbell in a neutral grip on top of the shoulder. Bend the knees slightly, opposite arm out to the side just to counterbalance the movement. Uh, dip, snap, and punch to lock out overhead. Lower it under control back to the shoulder and repeat. If your dumbbell is light enough and you want to just perform a single arm strict press, that would be fine as well. If you're somewhere in the middle, maybe you start with strict presses and then as you start to uh, fatigue on those, you can start to switch to the push press and perform those to finish up the minute. From there you go right into a dumbbell front squat. So that same position now, dumbbell resting on the shoulder. Your shoulder is going to be pretty smoked at that point. So if you need just a little bit of relief and you want to prop it up there, that's fine. Do your best to maintain that rack position throughout and then just perform a squat all the way down, all the way up. The swinging Hammer curl, so you'll bring the dumbbell alongside the body. Uh, you're gonna bend the hips and the knees slightly, lean over a little bit, and then snap the hips, curl the dumbbell up to the shoulder. It's not actually resting on the shoulder here, so it ends, just, ends up just slightly in front with the head touching the shoulder. And then again, bend and snap. And do your best to try to control the dumbbell on the way down, at least through that top portion and then get a little bit of momentum swing and snap and curl. After the minute there, you're gonna perform the deadlift. So just keep the dumbbell at your side. Feet are nice and narrow. Bend forward at the hip. Keep the back as flat as possible. When you can't keep your back flat anymore, just slightly bend the knees, tap the dumbbell on the floor, stand back up. And then just lower under control. As always, tap and stand. Once that minute's up, put it down, take a minute break, switch arms and repeat that entire sequence with the opposite arm. That's it guys, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and uh, we'll see you soon. Cool, thanks, bye.